let's talk this morning or this afternoon or whatever you're, re you're watching this. Let's talk about Advent. You know, we're doing that at our church where we light a candle each of the Sundays and then we're going to light one Christmas Eve, the Christ candle. So five candles in total. But why do we do it and why do we call it Advent? Well, it's on the church calendar and it is the four Sundays prior to Christmas. It's a period of time dedicated to the contemplation of Christ's advent or his incarnation or his, his coming. And it's actually to make us also think about, and especially the early time that advent was used, to remind us of his return. It's to talk to us about his second coming. So the first week, we meditate on Christ's uh, humanness. We, on the second way, week, we talk about the Holy Spirit. The third week, uh, death. The fourth week, his judgment of the dead. That was, that was the original way it was done. Now we do hope, joy, peace, love, Christ. So we've changed it a little bit over history, but it was a north uh, northern European type thing that started with five candles and uh, it was always made of evergreen uh, to make it look like life to remind us uh, of life uh, it had pine cones and ribbons and holly and mistletoe and this goes all the way back to the fourth century and what it would do is it began to celebrate Christ coming to earth as a babe in a manger, but it also wanted us to reflect on his coming and to search one's heart and repent and rededicate oneself in the anticipation of the coming of the light of the world. And so the outer candles are lit to show our repentance, to show that uh, we are hungering to see the Christ. And then also we would light um, a candle to anticipate the second coming, that Jesus is coming again. So sometimes ribbons are added, a blue and purple, white, and vine of thorns put in the wreath to help us remember what Christ did for us. And um, we think that the modern Advent wreath came out of Germany, German Lutherans. And it was perhaps inspired by the Swedish crown of lights. And what that was, was there was a, a young woman who's known as Lucia, or Lucia, uh, Saint Lucia. She was from the 13th century. Uh, um, well, excuse me, uh, December 13th. And supposedly she, uh, as a young woman, gave her entire dowry to feed the poor. So she arrives with a shipload of food and feeds the hungry and she's martyred. And uh, a crown of lights symbolizes her halo. So in Sweden on December 13th, the oldest Swedish daughter wearing a white dress and a crown of candles brings a breakfast of uh, buns and coffee to her parents' room to commemorate St. Lucia. And some think that might be where it comes from. Well, here's the thing I want you to walk away with. Number one, it is a time of reflection. Number two, it is a time of anticipation. We are reflecting on who we are, reflecting on our walk with God. Secondly, we're anticipating the coming of the Christ child. And for us who Christ has come for, we who are after Jesus Christ, it is also a picture of his second coming, and we are anticipating Jesus coming again. So I would encourage you this Christmas, reflect on who you are, but also reflect looking forward to the coming of Christ. Have a good one. Bye.